guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend and hope your week's off to a fantastic start. So we are continuing on with the best of 2022 series here on my channel and today we're talking skincare. This was a hard, hard category for me, you guys. I love skincare. I use a lot of skincare. I am a big, firm believer that if you are consistent with skincare, it can completely change your skin for the better. Obviously, you have to find the right products for you, what your skin type is, what your skin's needs are. You really have to sort of play around sometimes until you find a routine that works very well for you. And the thing about all of the YouTube reviews that you see it, that you need to keep in mind, and I know this is hard because there's a lot of things shown on YouTube, but you really need to balance with what you are being shown and what other people are using with what your needs are. Just because I use these products that I'm gonna share with you today, that doesn't mean that they are the best choice for you. I will tell you about my skin type here in a second so that you know sort of why I selected these products, but you really have to build your own routine. And the best way to do that, I have found, is just kind of through trial and error. I've tried a lot of different things. Um, at this point, I know sort of the ingredients that tend to work the best for me. And I think you can make a big difference in your skin with skincare alone. I think that if you want to have in-office procedures, that's fine. You can certainly see more drastic results, um, but you can do a lot with skincare at home as well and make a big impact on the overall tone and texture of your skin, no matter what your age. Um, I think the key is consistency. That's kind of where a lot of people I find um, get frustrated with skincare is sometimes it can take a long time and you have to be consistent with it. You're not going to see results after only like a week of taking care of your skin. You might see some results initially, obviously, but you might also not. You may, you may need to wait a little bit longer. So give the products that you purchase some time to actually work. Typically, I find that between six and eight weeks is sort of the sweet spot where I can really see whether something is having an impact, whether something is helping me maintain my skin or whether it's improving it even more or whether it's causing my skin to regress in some kind of way. So um, I like to test skincare. It's not the best thing for everybody to do that, but it kind of works for me. And I've also found that keeping my skin guessing is helpful. So again, that isn't necessarily the case for everybody. As far as my skin type, um, I so I'm in my mid 40s, I'm 44. I still have very oily skin. <laughs> it's not as oily as it once was, but it's still oily. Um, I deal with enlarged pores. So for me, blackheads, um, sebaceous filaments, just congested pores in general tends to be my main concern. Not so much breakouts. I do get pimples here and there. Um, if I'm slacking on the skincare, I will break out, but it's it's not the norm for me. Um, I obviously, because I'm in my mid 40s, I have the aging concerns for better or for worse. I know some people don't care about aging and that's totally fine. You age how you want. Like this is, this is the beauty of life. Like you can do whatever you want to your face. <laughs> You can do things or you can do nothing, and either is perfectly fine, I think. Just whatever floats your boat. I think that that's what people have to remember. I am not telling you to go out and buy all of these things. I don't care what you buy. <laughs> I don't care what you do. Um, I'm just sharing my thoughts on how these things work on my oily um, mid 40s skin and the results that I see. So this was a category, again, that was really hard for me to narrow down to just five, so I have six. And I know there's gonna be people who are gonna say, oh, but what about this or what about that? Believe me, skincare for me could probably be a top 30. Like there are so many things that I used this last year that I just absolutely fell in love with and it was really hard to narrow this down. So if you're wondering, but where is this thing? I just didn't wanna make this like a two hour long video, but if you would like me to, I can make a two hour long skincare video. I could talk for days about this stuff. Makes me happy. All right, so I will link all six of these products in the description box down below. 
one of them you will you would actually have to go to your dermatologist to get but um well a couple of them actually <laughs> so or mm, not necessarily but anyway let's just get into it check out the description box and um yeah this was hard <laughs> let's start with probably one of the most important things and it's going to be my spf now i discovered some pretty great SPFs over the last couple of years that work quite well with my oily skin. But the one that I have found myself going back to time and time again, because it is just the most consistent, it's easy, I think it's a good amount of product, I think it's a fair price point, and boy does it just work the best with my oily skin. You know it's coming. It is this little blue tube of magic that is the Paula's Choice resist super light daily wrinkle defense spf 30 it's a mouthful this is the very best just everyday spf that i own this is not waterproof um or water resistant if you will so i can't wear this if we go in the water per se i did find something else last year that is great for oily skin that is water resistant it is this have you tried it this is good too but i can only do one spf I will go ahead and link this one down below if you are looking for something that is water resistant that's good for oily skin. This is the Dermatology Daydream. I did an entire video about this already, but it's fabulous. If you want something waterproof, go for this. But just for every day, this is the most reached for. It is the one that I know just always works. Will I continue to test more SPFs as new ones come on the market? Yes, because I like to do that. But... She's a staple and you hear about her all the time because I don't know. This is kind of also where I started with SPF and it's just, in terms of it holding up on my oily skin, I love it. It also has a tint. This is, by the way, a mineral SPF. I tend to prefer mineral SPFs. Zinc oxide is my preferred mineral. I think titanium dioxide is fine too. So this one has zinc oxide um, 13%. So um, love this for just every day it's incredible second uh it's also from paula's choice sorry but uh, paula's choice by the way is where i started with my skincare journey and i just i cannot thank the brand enough for initially getting me started um with skincare uh i had a girlfriend that recommended them and i just placed an order for some random products and fell in love and from there just started buying more testing out more sharing my thoughts and i have found some absolutely incredible products from the line this being one of them if you have enlarged pores listen up the ingredient that you need to incorporate into your skincare routine is most definitely niacinamide this has reduced the look of my pores did it eliminate my pores uh no you can still see them on my face they still exist however they are significantly smaller than they were at other, any other point in my life um, I think that has to do certainly with the fact that I use a lot of BHA to keep my pores clear, but then also the addition of the niacinamide really helped to reduce the overall look of the pores. Oh God, that scared me. Sorry. <laughs> my daughter's home. She opened her door. Um, but yeah, so she, um, hold please. I think she needs me. All right. Sorry about that, man. That just scared the crap out of me. I can't wait to watch that footage back. <laughs> I think my soul just left my body. Um, I knew she was in her room, but then like I kind of forgot. So it's fine. We're fine. Anyway, let's talk about this. <laughs> this is the Paula's Choice Clinical Niacinamide 20% treatment. This also has acetyl glucosamine in it as well as purslane. Okay, I use this every single morning of my life. This is a 20% niacinamide, and I know a lot of people do not like the higher concentrations of niacinamide. If you're one of those people, this is not the product for you. However, <laughs> for my particular skin, this has made such a huge difference. So I started with Paula's Choice 10% uh, niacinamide when they first released it and had pretty darn good results with it. However, when they came out with this, I was like, yes, I, ne I needed the extra percentage. It it further reduced the look of my pores, plus this particular formula, I swear helps to keep my oil production at bay during the day 
or has played a role in reducing the oil production. Ever since I incorporated this, like I just notice a decrease in oil production overall. That being said, there could certainly be a lot of other things that are playing into that, but I do find that when I run, the rare occasion when I run out of this and I don't have a backup, I find that my skin does get a little bit oilier during the day, but it is rare that I am ever without a backup of this. For example, right now, like I probably have like one or two more uses than this one. I have two bottles of it in this closet over here. Um, Anytime that Paula's Choice has a sale for like 20% off, sometimes they even do 25%, I just buy a couple bottles of this to have on hand and that way I never run out. When I say every day of my life, I mean every day of my life. If I have this on hand in my, in my skincare collection, it's going on my face every single morning. It just is, it's fabulous and I cannot say enough about it. And for many years in a row, it has been a favorite. It continues to be a favorite. All right, uh, Trent Nowen, <laughs> I love it. Uh, fun fact, actually today, when you guys are seeing this video, um, I am going to have my uh, brows touched up. I, I always get a lot of questions about my eyebrows and I feel like most people know this, but there's always new people, right? These are tattooed on my face. <laughs> That's why they match my hair so beautifully. I go to an amazing tattoo artist the, the the woman that I go to started out as a tattoo artist, so I feel like her artistry is just kind of fabulous, but then she also started getting into cosmetic um, permanent makeup as well. And so I think she has a really good knowledge in terms of like having the tattoo background, but then I think she also really has an eye for color and she blended the perfect color for my brows. I love them. However, the last time that I had them touched up was I think mid 2019. So it's been a few years. Um, I noticed that it's starting to fade a little bit. So today I'm, I'm going in and having them touched up. So my eyebrows might look insane for like a week or two in future videos here. Just prepare yourselves. Anyway, I had to stop using this a couple weeks ago because when I go in to have the brow tattoo done. So I do micro shading. It's not like a, I don't want to say like brow tattoo. It's, it's micro shading that I have done. But um, the tattoo artist requires that I do not use my tretinoin for, a, she prefers four weeks, but I tell her I can't do four weeks. So for three weeks prior, I can't use this, especially on my forehead. Um, I'll be able to start using this again once this touch up heals up. So, but one of the biggest game changers for me was when I started using Tretinoin. Now I have a link where you can get your first tube of Tretinoin for $19 with CosmeticsRx.com. If you are interested in that, I will put it in the description box right below this video. It um, does require you to have your application reviewed by a dermatologist. So there's an actual dermatologist that looks at a questionnaire that you fill out and then helps you determine the right percentage that you need to start out with, which I think for most people is 0 0.025. Um, I use 0 0.05, um, that's what I started out with and that was fine for me, but most people really need to use, like ease into tretinoin. Um, it, you can certainly get it from a pharmacy. Uh, at first I started getting a prescription from my dermatologist, but that was expensive and then I found other ways to get it. Um, but anyway, Tretinoin, game changer. It helps with surface cell turnover. It helps with the overall improvement in terms of tone and texture of my skin. Um, it's just fabulous. It helps with keeping my pores looking really good and helps to keep wrinkles at bay, helps to you know encourage the production of collagen. Tretinoin to me is a must. I know there's a lot of people whose skin gets very irritated by it and if that is you then definitely stick with the over-the-counter retinols. There's some really great ones out there. I just found for me I sort of reached a plateau and I always knew that I would end up on Retin-A or Tretinoin in the long run and so when I got to the end of my 30s I finally decided to make the switch. I'm glad I did. I think it has made a huge difference in my skin 
and um, as long as I use a good moisturizer I don't really deal with a lot of like dryness or anything like that um, it's just it's one of those like staples in my routine that I just cannot be without and a tube like this lasts me like a long time you use a pea-sized amount if you are using more than a pea-sized amount you're using way too much <laughs> also I cannot use this on my neck my neck is super sensitive um, but I my face is a rhino hide. I can use this no problem on my face I still use I still use over-the-counter retinols on my neck. It's just how it works for me. Okay, let's keep going um, I could have put the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid in here However, I discovered this product kind of late last year and have loved this um, This is a Korean skincare product and um, I think it's called Tia I Tia I I I don't know the name of this brand. Look, I'm gonna be linking it down below. Just check the description box. This is the Pore Minimizing 21 Cream. This has niacinamide, and this says that it reduces the appearance of rough skin texture and oiliness. Um, this basically has a 5% niacinamide as well as a natural BHA 2.1%. So it has a pretty low uh, percent. Um, BHA this is fabulous for the daytime this is another product that I use pretty much most mornings yes I use both of these together I probably don't need to but I do and it works for me but I, but I don't think you need both if you have your niacinamide from here you probably don't need the niacinamide from here so just know that however love this product absorbs very quickly into my skin I can use this on my face I can use it on my neck if I if I tend to be breaking out on my neck I will bring this down heals up the breakouts very quickly my pimples tend to respond really well to BHA or salicylic acid I know a lot of people do better with sulfur I know a lot of people do better with um, benzoyl peroxide for me um, salicylic acid has always been the best option for breakouts doesn't irritate my skin I cannot use benzoyl peroxide tears my skin up but this is fabulous it also does help to keep the oil at bay as well so this I I need a backup of this I don't have one right now and I am nearing the end of it I have used this every single day since I got it and have really fallen in love with it so once I can figure out the name of this product TM I think it's TM I think it's TM I don't know <laughs> I'll let you know down below okay next um, so this is another like prescription type item I went to have my yearly mole patrol which is what I call my yearly dermatologist appointment where I get checked for skin cancer um, this past year I finally decided to ask my dermatologist about the melasma that um, has been cropping up on my forehead there are a couple of triggers for my melasma that I've discovered. The first is um, it's, it seems to come on with stress. Um, it also, uh, the sun. Yeah, let me tell you, I went to Hawaii in December. I had completely cleared up the melasma on my forehead with this stuff. And then as soon as we got to Hawaii, it was like kapow, like just back angry. Super frustrating. But let me tell you, this stuff. Um, so th this is hydroquinone. I know a lot of people don't like hydroquinone if close your ears if you don't like it because I this I loved it. It absolutely cleared up the melasma within a few weeks very quickly. Um, this is a prescription from the Skin Medicinals Compounding Pharmacy. So this is the compounding pharmacy that my dermatologist works with. He sends the um, formulation over to them and they compounded this and sent it to me and I use it on my forehead. I don't use this on other areas of my face. This has hydroquinone in it. It also has tretinoin. It also has um, flucosinol and niacinamide as well. And I think there's, mine's, my label's pretty faded. I can't tell what else. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I mentioned everything, but um, what else? Yeah, no, sorry can't read it it's, it's completely peeled off listen if you are struggling with melasma and nothing over the counter is helping go talk to your dermatologist there are 
stronger products that you can use. Um, now hydroquinone essentially bleaches the skin. So if that's something that you're not comfortable with, don't use hydroquinone. Um, but this is what cleared up the melasma for me. And since coming back from Hawaii, I have used this a few times now. I, ha I have to stop using this also because once again, I'm getting the brows done. This has tretinoin in it. And so I've had to stop using this um, a few weeks ago. But I am very excited to pick it up again. I, I think I got most, it, it looks a lot better than it did when we first came back from Hawaii. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely would like to have that nice clear forehead again. All right, last but not least, um, masks. Masks are not a necessity, so this is a little bit of an extra, but this is the mask that I used most consistently last year. This is the City Beauty um, Light Smoothing Hydro Mask. <coughs> Sorry guys. This particular one is absolutely fantastic. I just, I love it. It's so hydrating. It stays on my face. Hold on, I'm having a coughing attack. All right, sorry about that. I just, I am, I'm struggling today. <laughs> All right, um, back to the Line Smoothing Hydro Mask from um, City Beauty. I've been using these for a long time. I usually, what I tend to do is purchase these when they are either 30 or 50% off from City Beauty. They do multiple sales throughout the year where they have substantial discounts. And I tend to purchase my own products from City Beauty when they do those sales because I know that they're, they're a pretty expensive line, you guys, I am fully aware. However, um, they do these sales frequently enough to where I just, buy my stuff in bulk when they have the sale and I save a lot that way. Um, anyway, I always have at least a few boxes of these on hand. In fact, over the holiday, I gave away a couple of boxes, which was really hard for me to do because <laughs> I love these so much. However, um, I wanted some friends to be able to finally experience these and I knew that they would never buy them themselves. So anyway, this particular sheet mask is one that I like to use every single Sunday as a, like a part of my spa routine that I do. Um, it's just a day where I will do all of you know the stuff. Like I'll do microcurrent, radio frequency. If I want to do another LED light session, I'll do that. Just kind of like I make a nice Zen spa experience for myself. It is meant to be a pampering routine that not only helps my skin but also clears my mind. Highly recommend taking some time for yourself if you never do that. Um, this particular mask is great because I do it at the end of all of those things. Um, I will plop this on my face. I will go lay down for about 20 to 30 minutes and I will listen to spa music and relax while this infuses all of its fabulous ingredients into my skin. This has centella in it. It has um, glycerin, there's hyaluronic acid, there's peptides. This is one of my very, very favorite sheet masks ever. Um, it covers my entire face. Apparently I have an enormous gourd and a lot of sheet masks don't really like actually cover my entire face. This one does. It stays put. Now, the point of the whole spa routine is to like lay down and be zen, but sometimes, you know, I have a kid, she needs things, so I'll have to get up. This mask never, peels down like it just sticks to my face it's this amazing like thick biocellulose material fabulous um but yeah i i really i really enjoy this one it's kind of an extra treat i don't think masks are a necessity at all they're kind of the fun frivolous side of skincare but man do i love this one and i am usually never without a box and um I just can't say enough good things about it. So anyway, you guys, these these are my picks. These are the things that really I reached for over and over again that I would not want to be without in my skincare routine. Um, so yeah, anyway, let me know what your top like two or three skincare picks were from last year. And check out the link below. If you need to, definitely go see your dermatologist if you're dealing with some hardcore melasma. It, you can get rid of it. it. Takes some time and it certainly takes some hardcore ingredients, but you can get rid of it. So if you are kind of failing with everything that you're finding at the drugstore or at Sephora or Ulta or whatever, go talk with a physician. They, they can help you with that particular issue for sure. So um, anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Check out the links in the description box down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Tim